Greetings, so I moved in here, uh, doing a view on the Fallout series. I realize I haven't done this in a while, um, kind of forgot about it, so, oops. Uh, now I, uh, basically binge-watched the whole rest of the series, so this will be more of a review of the whole show. There were things I liked, there were things I didn't like. Overall, I did enjoy the show, series, whatever, call it what you will. Let's uh, talk about the some of the stuff I didn't like. I didn't like that uh, there was some pre-war drug that stopped schools from going feral. Uh, I realized in Fallout 4 they introduced the idea that feralism was discovered before the bombs dropped and they knew about it. So I suppose there could be a drug stopping ghouls from going feral, but from the how they did it in Fallout 4, it seemed like it was kind of only discovered a little bit before bombs dropped, so how would they know about feralism? Um, I think the uh, introduction of a drug from the past that stops them going feral. I think it's silly. That's my opinion. Take it for what you will. But yeah, I didn't like that idea. Uh, the other thing... Let's see. Some of the vaults being out in the open. The door being just plain sight. That's pretty lore breaking as well. All of them that I've seen in game were hidden either in the mountain, underground, or somewhere out of sight. This had the uh, beneficial effects of that they weren't easily targetable by enemies and uh, other people because they knew people were going to survive. So you didn't want vaults being out in the open so that the doors could be attacked openly either by, like, uh, say, China for nuclear bombs or future raider types to try to blow open. Know that they said that the only way to open a door, no, you get enough explosives, you can blow that door off. So having any of the vaults wide open like that just seems silly and uh, obvious targets, both in the past and in the present uh, uh, day of the show series and all that. Let's see. I, uh, oh yeah, the destruction of Shady Sands, keeping humans basically in perpetual dystopian future type of things. But I will acknowledge that for the show, they did it because the powers that be can't have humans making their own society when they want to do it with the uh, humans they tricked into the vaults. I realize not all of the vaults are uh, test subjects. Some are not uh, part of the testing. So yeah, there's that. And the biggest thing, which is the whole point of this series, is Cold Fusion. Hate to break it to you all, but Cold Fusion is pure fantasy. Didn't pull me in, and I thought it was completely dumb. Uh, it's, like I said, it's pure fantasy. It wouldn't work. Not, it won't work in our uh, tech, and it won't work in Fallout tech. Cold has this ability to suck energy, not produce it. It's not gonna work. I realize that uh, some scientists fantasize about it, but that's all it is. It's fantasy. I couldn't, I could, it didn't really pull me in because I thought it was dumb because, like I said, it, it wouldn't work. It, uh, cold just has this ability to suck energy. That's why you feel cold because it's sucking away your radiant heat. So, cold fusion, 
I don't see how it could work. I mean, maybe in the future, way, way distant future. I mean, I'm dead a thousand years kind of a thing. Maybe they find something out that works. But uh, with the tech we got, no, no, it would never work. And uh, this idea that the company's buying up tech to just hide on a shelf, that, that doesn't work. That's not how they do it. They do buy up tech. But the reason they put it on the shelf is because it doesn't work. That's why they put it on the shelf. Not to protect their interests. There might be some companies do that. But no matter what they buy up, somebody's going to find a tech that puts their tech out of business at some point. It's happened time and time again. I mean, you could... At one time, the horse and buggy was king. They were making all the money, and somehow cars overtook them quite easily. So, yeah, tech will find a way. I mean, I, I get that Fallout is kind of pushed everybody back from where it was in 2077. But, uh, yeah, they still move forward from that point. There's... Constantly, um, people trying to move forward. All the intellectual types that, uh, basically prove the point of the Brotherhood of Steel that tech does not belong in the hands of groups, certain groups of people, especially intellectuals that think they know better than everybody else, yes, which is, uh, the whole point that I got from this uh, series, I know a lot of people say that, oh, it's uh, bashing rich companies and all that stuff. Yeah I, can, yeah, I can see that. But to me, it shows that when you put intellectuals, give them unlimited power kind of a thing, they will destroy the planet in order to, quote unquote, save it. Because they think they can run everything better than everybody else. And I found it, uh, found it to be what the show is about. And from what I got, I got out of it, like I said, it's just a lesson in giving power to pretty much anybody. But intellectuals are very dangerous because they think they know better than everybody. They think they're the smartest people in the room. In the end of the day, they are not the smartest people in the room. I will trust somebody that says, I do not know, and I will find out, instead of, we know, we've run all the simulations and all this stuff, and this is how it's going to be because cause of the information we got. We know better than you, blah, blah, blah. Overall, I enjoyed the series. I was pleasantly surprised that it was actually pretty good. There were some cringe moments. Most of my cringe came from the excessive gore. I realize that there is gore in all the fallouts, but uh, to me, if you shoot somebody in the arm and their all their limbs fall off, including their head, that's humorous. And the way they did it in the show was a bit overly gratuitous and disgusting. I mean, he showed a guy getting his head crushed multiple times. He had uh, limbs exploding into bag, uh, parts of meat and all bloody stumps and all that stuff. It looked a bit too real for me and I didn't care for it. That kind of... Uh, gore I do not care for so yeah again overall I enjoyed the series I encourage other people to go watch it and I will watch the season 2 and do a better job of um, doing a review as the episodes come out or unless they do a full season release I'll try to do what I did at the start of this one but uh, I let this slip so therefore i had to do a, a full season review all at once i think it 
it should this uh, should work and i hope you all enjoyed the uh show here again i say that uh, the series was good i enjoyed it i was wrong and that's all i got for this show episode thank you all for joining me